everyone, this is Ben Dunn, founder of Antarctic Press, a comic book publishing company founded in 1985, creator of such comics as Ninja High School, Warrior Nun, Manga for Mangaverse, and a host of other comics. So uh, I'm back after a little hiatus. Went to Bell County Comic Con, spent the weekend there, then I went to San Antonio, took care of my family, especially my parents who are elderly. And so, but now I'm back from the, from there and ready to dive into the latest controversies that seem to be plaguing the comic book industry. So recently I heard, uh, I read that uh, Colin Kempernick, I hope I pronounced that correctly, is starting a, uh, a comic creation company run by some sort of AI Mm, algorithm, or called Lumni, I think that's what it's called, and uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, him and hawing and you know people getting angry about the whole situation. Now apparently he's raised about four million dollars, which is nothing to sneeze at, I grant you. But I think that there's a lot of much ado about nothing, you know. Let me be honest with you. You know, things like this is happen all the time in comics. You know, some big name is attached to wanting to create something in comics. And invariably, within a year, I mean, I'll, be general, I'll give it two years, they fail and disappear. You know, I think a lot of people are getting worked up over really nothing be honest. You know, people say, oh, but it's AI generated. It's going to create loop. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about it. You know, I I the thing about it is that th this is my prediction. You can take it for what it's worth. But I have experienced a lot of things over this past 40 years. And I've seen things, you know, people have come up with huge amounts of money you know, to dive into comics. And I'll tell you what, comics ain't worth it, man. There's not enough money in comics to justify this kind of experience. You know, this is, you know, people are worried about uh, this to possibly taking away this, whatever he's trying to do, taking away jobs from comic creators. No, it's not going to. You know, this is what's going to happen. And, you know, whether it happens or not, I mean, this is just simply my opinion. You can take it for what it's worth, but this is what I think is going to happen. First of all, Colin Kaepernick is a football player. He knows nothing about comics. Why in the world would he delve into comics? Now, I could be wrong. Maybe he knows a lot about comics. You know, my understanding is that there's very little he's done, actually, in the comics industry that it would indicate to me that he has any interest at all in comics other than trying to make some money off of it. And this is exactly what's going to happen. He's going to announce this, you know, he has no track record. You know, there's no examples of comics that are being created by his AI. I mean, if he had samples of comics created by his so-called AI generator, you know, then hmm, maybe, I don't know, I, I don't know, I, I just put, where? Where are the, where are the samples? Usually when you have something like this, you know, you have to have some samples, you know, so people get excited about it. Say, whoa, wow, this is impressive. But there's nothing. You know, I, don't, I haven't seen anything. Not a single comic panel. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone can produce one. But as far as I know, nothing. You know, and then second of all, you know, uh, who's going to use it? You know, the community at large hates AI-generated art. The people who would be the ones who support, uh, you know, the, the people who would be the ones who support, you know, they're not, they're not working in comics. You know, the, he's trying to get people who are quote-unquote normies or people outside the comic industry to use his, you know, so-called AI generator, you know, and uh, that's what he's trying to appeal to. I mean, he may get some kids or teenagers or people who can't draw you know, the thing about it is that, you know, the, the you still have to have that human element. you got to come up with the idea and come up with the story. And then how easy is this generator going to be used? I mean, where's the algorithm? Where's the program? Where's the uh, examples 
of it being used. You know, do you just simply type something in and it just spits out a comic book page, a comic book panel? <laughs> it's not that easy. You know, it's he's sick of, you know, and who's going to buy it? You know, who's, who, you know, the com comic book community at large has already shown its disdain for AI generated content. You know, you use just a little bit of it and people just go crazy. You know, they say, oh, it's terrible. It's the end of the world. And well, you know, I, uh, I hate to break it to you people out there, but. You know, AI is going to get better and better. Sooner or later, someone is going to come up with something that will be able to do exactly what Colin Kaepernick is claiming to be able to do. He's saying that, oh, we don't have to have gatekeepers, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. The thing about it is that he doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's face it. You know, he's just spitting out, you know, the sales pitch to get more people to invest in his whatever. And I'm going to call it for what it is. I think it's a scam. You know, he's going to disappear with that $4 million and you're never going to hear from him again. You know, you know, the thing is, he wants to play football. That's his thing. You know, he doesn't care about comics. He never has. He cares about the money, you know, and he cares about his reputation and he cares about his name. You know, I think as a comic book community, we sometimes get worked up over things that really don't matter that much. You know, we get worked up over stupid things that really don't affect us one iota. You know, so what? He does a stupid AI generated thing. You know, if you as a creator are so worried about AI, okay, then you're not much of a creator, to be honest. You know, the thing about artists back in the day is that they created their own style. You know, I'll be worried when AI can generate things from whole cloth. That they can think for themselves and say, hey, I want to do a comic book. If an AI computer says, I want to do a comic book. I'm going to start doing one right now. You know, and then, then I'll be worried. But as long as there's a human hand and everything that's being generated, then I'm not too worried about it. I frankly don't care. You know, I draw my comics because I love drawing comics. You know, and I'm hoping that People will like what I draw, knowing that there's a human hand behind the creation. And I think most people appreciate that. They want to support creators who do things, you know, with the human hand, uh, with the human touch. You know, because we are humans. You know, we're people. You know, I mean, I can understand him wanting to try to do this to fool the people who are not knowledgeable, you know, who just want to read something. You know, to uh, be entertained by something, and they may not—they may be fooled by, you know, AI-generated artwork, and that's fine. You know, the market will bear this out. If people love AI-generated comics, they'll support it. Nothing we can do about it. You know, but there's room for all of us if we create good content. You know, you may think that, oh, yeah, it's a threat to, you know, real comic book artists. Well, I will tell you that if you are threatened by AI art, then uh, maybe you're not much of a creator. You know, I mean, let's be honest. It, it, it's just one of those things that is part of human uh, existence. It's the march of technology. And, is, 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 you know, if AI can do what it can do now, imagine what it will be like four, five, ten years from now. You know, it could be amazing. And, you know, people say, oh, yeah, you can't copyright AI art. Well, you know what? All it takes is one law to allow AI art to be copyrighted. That's all it takes. You know, for now, it's not. But all it takes is, and you know what? Money, money can influence a lot of things. All it takes is one AI company with billions of dollars to influence some politician to pass a law that says, hey, we don't contribute to your campaign if you introduce a bill that makes AIR copyrighted. You know, can we can trademark it? That's all it takes. And all you do is convince enough people to sponsor that bill, you know, and then it's law. And people can use AI as copyrighted material. So, but for now, my prediction is that, you know, 
this is much ado about nothing. Colin Kaepernick, whatever, he can do whatever he wants. It's a free country. You know, I think the people who are interested in this company are going to find out they're going to lose their money. You know, he's going to abscond with that. Because you know what? You know, when he has $4 million in his pocket, you think he's going to care about it? He's going to just take some off the shelf, off the wall, AI generated thing, you know, and pretend that's something of it. He's using his name to leverage, you know, this, uh, this so called idea, this so called company. You know, he's not serious. He never was. You know, he's using it to fool people, using his name, his notoriety, so that he can create something, you know, and scam people of money. Simple as that. You know, I'll be surprised if this company he's created lasts one year. I'll be very surprised. You know, and me, and I'll be totally free to admit I was wrong if it turns out to be something genuine. But I have a funny feeling that it's... You, he's going to disappear, you know, and people forget because people have short memories, you know, and then nobody's going to remember it except somebody on YouTube says, hey, whatever happened to that Colin Kaepernick thing that he was going to do with AI? You know, it'll be lost to the t mists of time. You know, the, the only thing that lasts is you as the creator can create something that resonates with people, you know, resonates with the readers. You know, that stands the test of time you know so you know if my advice to you is just ignore it don't bother with it spend your time creating something new and unique you know show people that you could do better than AI you know that you as a person can create something truly unique and long-lasting so anyway uh, this has been done uh, I do have a campaign speaking of uh, original material. I do have a campaign, Tomorrow Girl X Punchline on Indiegogo. Uh, it's exclusive. And I hope you'll be a backer. I'll put the link below so you can check it out. And uh, until next time, this has been done signing off.